So I just went to go hand in my keys at my old apartment. We're officially done with it. I went yesterday to go clean up the space and say one last final goodbye. Hi. So this is the second to last time I'm in this apartment. Today's haul, I'm just gonna clean. I just need to like deep clean it um, and empty it out because I'm handing in my keys tomorrow. but I'm so happy where I'm at right now. I kind of have somewhat of a busy day. I'm staying inside most of the day, which is nice. I was supposed to have lunch with Chase, but he ended up working from home, so he's kind of farther now. Because he works actually not too far from me, which is pretty cool. But I think, so let me show you. This room is an actual disaster. Eventually this is gonna be a nursery. This closet is going to be storage for now. We don't have too much space for storage and just random things. So right now this is just acting, we call it our garage. It's like bulk items, like holiday decor. We have like tools and stuff in this giant box. So I'm gonna somewhat figure out a way to organize all of this. Also, in case any of you guys are interested, Here's a little bump update. I will be 16 weeks Wednesday. Wednesdays are the days that my weeks go up. But yeah, here is an update of Baby Bump. I feel like he's popping out a lot lately. I don't know. Maybe because I just like have him wearing very loose clothes and lately I've been wearing kind of tighter clothes. But yeah, definitely there's a bump in action. There's a bump in here. Man, this is crazy. He's definitely in there. That's for sure. So I think the first point of action is to get the tools in that container. This looks very fun. Ugh. I've been just putting things in this box. Lots of tools. I think I may need to get a tool order on Amazon because there's just so much going on in here. <laughs> I do have a toolbox in here somewhere too, but I just don't think it's going to work right now. Ugh. Let's see what I can do with this. All right. Um, this looks like a little bit more intense than I thought. Oh, this box is still not empty. Um, watch out, Nove. All right, I somehow consolidated all of that and organized it in this drawer, this drawer, and then a little bit of this drawer. I did get some bulk items in there. So now I'm going to finish this whole closet. This looks so good. I'm starving, but I'm still super busy. Um, so I'm going to eat this healthy salmon dish. Oh my God. So this is a factor meal. They're actually today's partner. I've been eating factor meals for about two to three months now. The difference between this one and other meal kits is that this is already ready to go. Like all you have to do is pop them into the microwave for two minutes. You can do the oven too, but I really don't have time and it's just such a great meal option for me. 
because I need like nutritious meals. Obviously I'm pregnant and I don't cook. You guys know I need to like learn how to cook, but for now this will do. This is like great for lunch and like on the go meals. They always have like a veggie in them too, which I've been slacking on. So it's nice to have some veggies in my meal throughout the day. Mm. This one is their pesto salmon. They have really quality ingredients, which is obviously super important for me. Like I feel comfortable eating them. They have so many different options too. Like if you're keto, vegan, paleo, you can find a meal plan for you. My favorite part is that I don't have to prep anything. There's no mess. I literally eat it out of here. It takes two minutes. This is my last one. We ate them all already. I need to order more. They're not like those healthy meals where they taste like nothing. Like there's flavor in this. There was like a sauce on the green beans that like melted in the microwave. Mm. Another thing is that they have options. You can get a variety of different meals. It's not like the same meal every time. You can like pick and choose what you like. They're actually giving you guys $130 off. $130 off. If you use the promo code, click the link in my description or go to go.factor75.com slash Renee130. That's a huge discount. Hop on it while you can. Huge shout out to them for First of all, giving me this food is so good. <laughs> I feel like I have a professional chef in the kitchen now, but also for partnering with me on today's video. Especially today, I need this. All right, back to organizing. <laughs> mm. All right, I have cleared up a lot of stuff in here. There's still some stuff, but it's, I can walk. I somehow managed to organize this entire closet. It looks nice and good. We still have some space to like put things if we need, but for now, this is gonna remain closed because it's just storage and garage stuff. As you can tell, I have so many packages here, like beyond ridiculous. I've just been ordering so much stuff, just like necessities, some of the stuff is apartment, you know, stuff. So, toilet gloves. Oh, this is my clothing. I bought some pregnancy attire. I feel like that'll be another video. Oh yeah, okay, so these are towel rack holders. They're like those peel and stick ones that go on the back of your door or wall. Mm, frother holder. These are all like home improvement stuff. These are so cool. I wanted some earrings that are more simplistic. And these are on Amazon, guys. So I bought these little hoops for my second home. Oh, that's adorable. Super cute. These ones look like this. They looked really cool. Love a camera wrist holder oh yeah this is a slow feeding dog bowl so noah eats her food like a psychotic person they have these slow feeding bowls that we heard about kind of like a maze so like it takes a while for her to eat we'll try it out i'll let you know how it goes a book lamp we've been reading we're gonna like i'm gonna pick a book he's gonna pick a book and then we'll read every night and then when we finish the book we'll go back and go get other books i asked you guys on instagram what books you liked a lot of you guys recommended a lot of colleen hoover and i've read verity before and it's a really good Book. and I saw a lot of this one and Ugly Love but I wanted to read this one first because I got more recommendations for this one and so far so good I'm on chapter two it's been great nipple pads our bathrooms don't have any sort of space or storage to put shampoos and stuff so I got one for the guest bathroom and one for our bathroom they're like these little stick on and we can store our bathroom right now we're just like storing everything on the ground it looks awful okay speaking of storage space for our toilet paper i'm just gonna put this in the back of the toilet what else okay the neater way to feed your pets this is a neater mat nova drinks also like a psychotic person she's just not a lady right now she's just a little like girl when she lifts her head off the water bowl it's just like a waterfall she gets water everywhere there's like puddles all over the house so hopefully this helps I feel like it'll work. Xander fishes and he has some fishing rods, so I'm gonna put this in the front closet, these kind of like wall hook kind of things. So you just drill it into the wall. This goes on the bottom, this goes on the top, and then the fishing rods like are stored cleanly in a nice little space. Cute! A peach picnic from pharmacy. So I love pharmacy, they're such a great brand of skincare. They mix like an actual pharmacy with the farm. That's why it's spelled F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. So you get the farm aspect of good quality ingredients and then you get the pharmacy where there's like the science back behind it of the best ingredients for whatever you need for your skin. They're known pretty much for their makeup melt away balms. They're basically like this paste and you just wipe it on your face and your makeup literally melts off and it takes it to the surface. This is the peaches one. That's really cool. Thank you, pharmacy. Every bomb sold, they will donate 20 meals to help fight against hunger and food waste through our country. Feeding America and Second Harvest. That's really cool, I love that.
more beach towels. These are my favorite. They look like hotel style like towels and they're really thick quality. Look at that. Oh, just a beautiful color. I love it. I went to Target and I actually bought these. This is a shower curtain. It's a very, again, hotel style vibe. It's this like really long waffle shower curtain and it's like the best texture. It's really thick. And I picked up a waterproof fabric shower liner. You can like rewash it and stuff. And I always have to go and replace my shower liners because they get like smelly or moldy or whatever. But the fact that you can rewash this is pretty cool. I'm gonna put this up. Cute, I like. Cool. Go ahead, Novi. Can you get it? She's like, um, excuse me. You like to be feeling right. Good girl, no. <laughs> outside it's like raining but not really it's like sprinkling i'm so tired i don't know what today like it's i i just i'm really tired let me do a quick little trader joe's haul cereal raisin bagels rice crackers oh yeah how could i not get these and how can i not try them right now oh my goodness Wow. Mmm. Maple syrup, curry sauce, coconut date balls, a little protein shake, salad, carrots, cotton candy grapes. Yeah. Blackberries. My favorite sandwich from Trader Joe's. It's the tarragon chicken wrap. These are really good. These are overnight oats. Chicken nuggets. Simplicity is key in my house, if you can't tell. Oh, how could I forget? Nova! Whoa, these are big. Look at that. Yeah. She's seriously like the smartest dog ever. Her breed, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, is a very, very smart dog. Touch. Touch. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Paw. Good girl. Lay down. Now roll over. Good girl, no! She's such a good girl. I have the night to myself tonight. I had not been on a skincare routine for, I wanna say like over six months. After moving, I went through all my stuff, got rid of everything and utilized things that I already had. I first take off my makeup with this pre-cleanse by Dermalogica. Now I love the smell of this. It smells like a hotel, like a really luxurious hotel, um, like soap. <laughs> but it just melts all of your makeup away. It's so gentle. I just like really love the smell of it. Found this on Amazon. It's a little extra, but whatever. It's like this band that I put on my head like this so I don't get uh, my hair wet. And it came with this. You know like when you wash your face and you just have water dripping all down your hands? No, you don't have to. So I just take water and take it off. And it really does take off my eye makeup really well. After that, I generally will wash my face with this Dermalogica gel. This is just my face wash. I know Dermalogica is a really good brand because every time I go into like a dermatologist's office, they have it on display. So it's definitely dermatologist approved. So now I do the Dermalogica toner. This is really good for your face. Let it dry. And then I do the serum. So I do the vitamin C serum by SkinCeuticals and then the photocorrective gel. This is for like any redness or anything. Sometimes I do one first, sometimes I do the other first. It all depends. I had read somewhere that after your skincare routine at night, you're supposed to look like a glazed donut because all of that goodness and vitamins and all the stuff that you put on your face is supposed to absorb into your skin during the nighttime. 
so look as greasy as you want the more greasy the better and then i will do the pharmacy cheer up eye cream and i just put this underneath my eye to moisturize i feel very like good when i do my skincare routine i've been doing it every night and then the holy grail kiehl's uh, moisturizer it's the best pull up with that and then in the morning what i do is i just wash my face and use moisturizer i don't do this like every morning and every night just during the night and then for my body i use the bum bum cream and then this is a new thing that i've added this is a serum for your belly so that you can prevent stretch marks and i put it on my boobs and my belly every day and this also smells really good it smells like the luxurious smell kind of smell so i'm gonna do that head to bed and I asked you guys on Instagram some questions, so I thought I'd do like a little chat Q&A with you guys. Chill in bed. It'll be nice. Do you still have faith? I do, actually. Um, I'm not as connected with like religion as much as I am with like a personal relationship. I've talked about this before, but I feel like church really helped me, Elevation in particular, when I was going through something really tough. Um, and sometimes when I watch it, it's like kind of talks about like problems or things that you're going through. And I personally am just not in that mental like space so it's hard for me to listen and like connect to it but i definitely do have a very personal relationship with my faith so any boy names we actually have a name picked out i'm not going to talk about it just yet i want to talk to xander first and we will figure out a way to introduce i don't know if that's going to happen like when he's born or before that have i felt my dad's uh, presence during my pregnancy absolutely that's the first thing i thought about when i found out i was pregnant and i've definitely noticed like certain signs and stuff how did i meet xander we were like neighbors we like lived close to each other and we met on a bridge the first few weeks of living together with my boyfriend um we just moved into this apartment like two weekends ago so far so good it's been great i'm so happy like we're just like perfect for each other am i nervous for labor honestly no like i haven't really thought about it i think like so many women have been through it um i think once it gets closer i'll definitely think about it a little bit more but uh, i did have like a nightmare about not a nightmare but i had like a scary dream about it and i was like i woke up thinking about it and i was like oh my god i'm literally gonna like deliver a baby that's insane favorite thing about xander he's very mature like he is such a like responsible but still fun and like young hearted. We're like just goofballs together, but he's just such a like man. I don't know how to like, he's just like, he was raised well, he has manners. He's just so like professional and mature and he's just a good man. I miss him. How did Nova come into our home? So we found Nova um, at a farm actually and we went to go pick her up well we okay so xander and i were like discussing rhodesian ridgebacks he's like oh let's get one i'm like are you serious because i will literally find one tomorrow <laughs> and he's like yeah what did i do found a rhodesian i actually found her brother and we like talked about it and we were like oh my god we're gonna do this this is crazy all the stuff and then people were kind of like getting in our heads and he like he was like listen like we're having a baby i think this is insane like we're not doing the dog thing and i like showed him a picture of nova he's like all right, all right we'll go see her on sunday um and then we had went to go see her on sunday he's like we're not getting the dog right now. we're just looking i'm like yeah i know i know it was like an hour and a half drive we went over there met her there were like a million rhodesians on this farm like full grown we met her mom and she's like are you guys gonna take her home i like looked at him he goes let's do it i'm like really i was so happy i was like crying in the car when we got her is xander with an x or a z it's a z z a n d e r the nursery i think i'm probably gonna do that in october right now it's just working as like an office slash storage space i'm so cozy right now and i'm literally like my eyelids are shutting but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love you guys so much and I